Hi guys, so I'm in my shop working right now, um, but God wanted me to share two dreams. Uh, one I might have already shared, but it was about many Christians are having visions and dreams of a huge wave coming in on the East Coast and destroying things. And we know that in the Bible it says that a wave comes to, you know, take away the, the woman, but God sends an earthquake and the earthquake swallows it up. Well, um... I had a dream the other day about a silver scroll in the ocean, and these sharks were eating off of it. Sharks represent the elite, and uh, it comes up, and it's a nuke, and um, sends in a wave, also a huge wave, into the people. Now, this weather dis is destruction is created by man. Um, and then last night I had a dream, and... This is what the dream was. Now, we have a red truck and a white car. And in the dream, um, I was look overlooking San Francisco. And I was outside of the truck, and I got in the truck. And as I got in the truck, I saw this. I looked in the rear view mirror, and there was this massive wave coming into the bay and taking the Golden Gate Bridge off. It was just a massive wave of water, a wall of water. And I said, oh, my gosh, it's happened. It's begun. It is happening. And it, as it was taking out San Francisco, I drove, and I drove out of there and made it out of there. And then I got to a gas station, and there was a glass um, window at the gas station, and there was some money left on the counter with some Visa card stuff. And there was a $20 bill and a $50 bill. And the, the you know how the glass plexiglass wall separates you from the, the person at the teller? The money person and so um, I took the 20 for some reason I stole it I, I didn't take it I just like took it grabbed it and then I put it in said somebody left this stuff here and put it in the thing to, to give to the woman and then another lady or her she came out or something and she gave me a hug and she goes she goes um, you're like me God's given you prophecy and and giving me a hug and it was like we were sisters in Christ and then she's Everybody starts like getting all frantic and going, oh my gosh, they're taking your seats out of your car, out of your truck. And they, and she goes, you better get going. You're going to, you know, you're not going to make it if you don't get going now. And I went, okay. And so I, I started getting afraid because all these people were starting to get violent and I really needed to get out of there. And, um, I, as I got, I got in the truck, there were no seats in my truck, but I got in my truck anyways. They had, they had, um, vandalized my truck and I took my, and they took the seats out. As I was driving by, I saw the, the seats there, and the two seats were covering. One person had like a, like a sticker, a, a, some sort of tool to harm the other person. They, they were, he was killing the other person. They had stole the seats together, but then they were turning on each other. And the seats were covering the actual murder, so I wouldn't have to see it. And I drove away in a red truck. <laughs> um, I made it to a place, um, and there are other things that happened, but I'm not going to get into the other things. Um, but the fact is, is that I made it out, and I was covered with a red truck. Um, the red, I believe, represents the blood of Christ. Um, and I'm covered in the blood of Christ. And um, the destruction in san francisco represents the wall of water that's coming into the earth into the land on the coasts the coasts are going to have a destruction um the dream um the other night i think i already um told you what that represents the money thing i haven't quite figured out why i would keep the 20 and give the 50 back with the paperwork of the the credit card stuff i haven't figured that out so if you guys have any idea of what that might be um, I'm going to pray about it and see if God will give me the um, information on it. Supposed to be that. <laughs> it's got to be screwed in. Anyways, um, but uh, the other thing that, that was standing out to me is that we see a lot of violence in the cities right now and riots and just craziness happening. And a lot of it was, you know, Obama and Trump were meant to cause division in mankind, cause hatred and anger and bitterness and rage and wrath. That was their motive and what they're doing, I believe, with putting these two men in office, one right after the other. Um, 
and, and you know, maybe God, God's going to use Trump as a Cyrus. You know, people are saying that. I don't know. I just see them both on the same team, both as Jesuits. Um, I vote for Jesus myself um, because we should be loving one another, not tearing each other up about a candidate or, oh, you don't like Trump. Well, I'm going to disown you as a friend. That's just ridiculous, you know. I don't, I don't vote for anyone anymore after last year's election. I, de I decided not to vote, and um, that was the first time in my whole life, you know, since I became a voter. And uh, I didn't vote for Obama, but uh, I see some good things he's doing. Um, and, and it's funny because I see these good things, but, you know, are they playing the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, man's good and man's evil? They're both still evil because they come from man and not God. We have to live by the Holy Spirit and not by our flesh. I believe they are acting out a script, the Word of God, the Bible script. And the letter kills, God has shown me, the letter kills. We have to live by the Spirit. The Spirit quickens us unto life. The Spirit gives life. Jesus is the life giver. So with that said, I hope that you guys all feel encouraged that we do get out of here by our testimony and um, by the blood of Christ, um, uh, by our testimony that we, we believe in him and we trust him and his, his work on, you know, as he walked the earth, living a holy life. And we receive his holy life by the covering of our flesh by the blood of Christ. And that's the blood and the water mixed, okay, because we're waters. We're a sea of waters. And he also showed me this morning that, you know, all the spirits belong to him and the souls. He breathed a soul in us. All of it belongs to God. So even those people that are doing wicked things, you know, their mind is on evil and on hatred. We need to stick, stay in the light and stay on love and loving our neighbor as ourself. And um, that's where we have to live our life. And listening, hearkening unto the voice of the Lord because we don't live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The bread is the word of God that we have, the Bible. The, 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 by the Spirit, we read it. The Spirit directs our path. The, steer, the Spirit teaches us, and that's Jesus, our high priest, and we're a kingdom of priests. We're the kings and queens. We're the children of God. We're to, to decree and declare and proclaim. We're to, because um, we're God's church. We're not... We don't belong to a building. We belong to God. We are his church in Christ. We're the temple of God. We're the third temple, guys. We're the living stones. We are the temple of God, not a building. And um, Jesus is the cornerstone. The sharks that I saw in my dream and um, the elite are the um, ones who reject the cornerstone. They reject Jesus as the king. They reject his salvation and they believe a lie. So they will be in the caves, and they, when Jesus does come, they will say, fall on us and ha hide us from the, the wrath of the Lamb because they know they've done wicked things. They know that the grapes of wrath are going to come, um, but they haven't repented yet. So I'm praying for all people because God died for all wicked, the wicked too. So anyways, God bless you, bless you guys, and I hope you have a, a wonderful day. Bye.